Hi guys, it's Up Games here. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna do another tutorial for you guys. We're gonna do how to install 5M. So 5M is a really popular like online for mods or roleplay servers, stuff like that. It's like a separate online for GTA 5, totally separate where you can just play with others exactly the same way but with mods and modded vehicles da 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 so it is a really cool thing to do so and I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it it's very simple probably the hardest part is downloading it really but hope you guys enjoy this video like always remember to like comment and subscribe and let's get started Okay, so the first step is, of course, just go to the link in the description. It'll bring you to the 5M website, so 5M.net, just type it in if you want to. And you can see download client, go ahead and you can read over this if you want to. I would recommend reading it because it is good to know, but I already read it once. I'm not going to read it for you guys, I already read it. So after that you say sure I agree and then it will download to sit save and go to your downloads and put it on your desktop. <laughs> okay once it's on your desktop do not open it yet. What you want to do is create a folder and name it 5M or whatever you want to name it, put 5M, what you just downloaded into that folder, open that folder, and then open the program. The only reason I say this is because it doesn't make this file right here, which is just the program, program files I guess. Just to keep it clean, you can just open it on the desktop if you really want to, but I don't recommend it. But as soon as you open it, it'll start updating just let it go through this and I'll well, who knows, it might be done in a second yes okay, so once it opens it's gonna tell you to find your GTA 5 folder now most of yours is gonna be retail DVD, so it'll be in your C drive under program files uh, Rockstar Games and then GTA 5 um, a lot of other people, if you have a Steam version, you go to wherever you install Steam, Steam, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then GTA 5 right there. But for me, because I have it retail on DVD, I'm going to go right here and hit Select Folder, and it's going to update some more and confirm that it's a legit, a legit copy of GTA 5 up to date which my GTA 5 isn't up to date <laughs> okay <laughs> but you get the point so uh, this might take a minute so I'll be back when this is done okay guys welcome back so as soon as this pops up it says M5 5M needs to update the game cache, which is pretty much um. Uh, I'm not actually too sure what it is, but okay, it's what this is doing is actually updating the game for me, I believe. So just hit yes if this pops up. Just hit it, and I'll. Yep, this is gonna take a minute. This is updating the game for me. So if you're game isn't up to date this will do it so I might do a time lapse of this because it'll probably take not too long but I'll be back once it's done welcome back so once it's done updating and doing everything else all you want to do is log into your social club that you logged in into GTA 5 normally and once you do that it'll of course I'm not going to show this part so I'm going to edit this out and I'll show you what to do next after this. Okay guys I'm back so once you log in it should automatically start up. So this is pretty much the beginning. So to find servers of course you just go to the server page and here's all the servers. There's like a lot of servers. Of course settings blah 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 blah. So 
That is how you do it. This is how you do it, so what? After this, you're done, but if you have any problems, like it's not working, anything like that, you can try a couple things. You can try to run the administrator, you can try troubleshoot compatibility. If you're on Windows 8, um, it should work fine, you should, but it might have a pop up saying Windows 10 is recommended, but if not, it's fine. If you're on Windows 7 for some reason, you can just go into right click go to properties right click properties go to compatibility you can run this again or you can um, do a compatibility mode run this and you want to check run this program in compatibility mode and I would do Windows 8 hit apply okay and try it then if that works great if it doesn't leave a comment and I'll get to you but Thank you guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.